to my channel, it's Caitlin here and today I'm going to be doing another revision video for you. I have already done one on my channel recently and I will leave a link to that in the description below and I thought I would do a second one for you. And I wanted to do another one to share with you some more kind of advice on motivation and also some actual revision techniques which I use and I think work really really well for me. Basically this video is a part two to my previous one so if you want to check that video out then you definitely can. It will be the first link in the description for you. Also this video is really exciting as it is in collaboration with Pentel who are a stationery brand and they have very kindly sponsored this video. So if you want to check out their products to aid your revision then you definitely can. I will leave a link to their website and also all their social medias as well down in the description for you guys to check out. So without further ado I'm just going to get into my part two revision video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if it's helpful then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe as well to my channel if you are new and I'll get on with the video. My first tip is to find a place that you want to do your revision in and I would highly recommend keeping this place the same for the whole time you're revising. So this could be a desk in your room, it could be a study room in your house baby, it could be the library at university or it could be a cafe that you want to go to but I really recommend picking a place and sticking to it because that way when you go to that place you get your head in the mindset of being productive and revising. For me personally the place where I like to revise is a cafe at university. I go there pretty much every single day of revision. I love going there, it's my productive zone. So find the best place for you and it definitely helps with just your general mindset. My next technique is to take pride in your notes and make them beautiful because that way you will feel really really good about what you've achieved. I usually have separate notebooks for every subject that I do and within those notebooks I create title pages, I organise into lecture slides, tutorial questions and exam questions all those kind of things. Just make sure that you keep everything really organized and also it's really great for when you're stuck and you can just flick back. So the pens which I always use throughout the year and also when I'm creating my revision materials is the Pentel Energel pens. I have used them honestly all throughout this semester and last semester and I also use them throughout my revision and they are just so bright and vibrant and they dry really really fast which I really like because I am left-handed and I often find that I can smudge my notes or end up with pen all down my arm because I'm left-handed. So these pens are great because they dry so so fast. The pens are also really comfortable to use and the ink itself is just such good high quality and really smooth on the paper. My next thing which I want to speak about is finding out whether you are a mind map person or a bullet point person. I feel like this divide comes about when it comes to essay style exams. So my friend who I often study with, she likes to have every essay plan in a mind map form and for me that is way, way, way too messy, way too confusing and I just can't seem to work out what's going on on mind maps. Whereas I like to have my essay plans all in bullet points. So I like to have a sheet of paper and I have titles for the paragraphs which I'm going to write about and then within those titles I have bullet points on all the points which I'm going to talk about. These are two very different revision techniques and one will work for you most likely. I would suggest giving bullet points a try if you are somebody who finds themselves making mind maps and then never looking at them again. Try making it in a bullet point version and see if things are just a little bit more enjoyable for you. There are 12 different colours in the Energel range so you have a whole host of colours that you can try out and use and decorate your notes with. You can definitely go as crazy as you want with colour with these pens. Number four is find a revision TV show. This is something that I do every time exams come along. So I find a TV show that I want to watch in my revision breaks. Try not choose anything too intense that's going to affect your mood 
or just how you feel. I know sometimes when I watch like crime dramas or I watch something that's more on the horror angle then it does affect my mood sometimes but try and just watch something that is like a rom-com type style TV show and it's really great because it acts as an incentive to keep working and then you know you're gonna get 15 minutes of watching that TV show. For me I always watch one episode in the morning and then one episode during my lunch and then I usually watch one episode in the evening time and it just acts as an incentive for me to keep going and I know I'm gonna get to watch my TV show soon so it means that exam time is just not quite as stressful because you've got things to look forward to. Also, I like to make use of flashcards when I'm revising. I like to do this later on when I know quite a lot of the course and I just want to use flashcards to target the stuff that I don't know yet and that I'm really struggling to revise. So, for example, all the sticky notes on my wall I usually turn into flashcards by the final week so then I can walk around with them and revise from them. Tip number six is to plan something to look forward to once your exams are over. I have a ton of stuff planned after my final exam and I cannot wait. So it just acts as something to look forward to, just give you hope and a light at the end of the tunnel so you know that it's not gonna go on forever. You know that you're just gonna work hard for the next couple of weeks and then it will all be over and you've got a ton of stuff that is super exciting. So book something or buy a concert ticket or organize to meet up with a friend get something planned to look forward to once your exams are over. Is to delete social media if necessary. At the moment I've not done it yet, I've not deleted anything, but if you feel like you're getting distracted very easily by social media then just delete it. I did this at Christmas time when I had my December exams, I deleted Instagram because I was getting so distracted and not only distracted, it was actually making me feel really really bad about myself because I was looking at people having a great time on holiday and on the beach and all that kind of thing and I was sitting doing exams so not only was it a distraction but it was actually making me feel really bad. You'll be surprised how quickly you get used to not looking at it. I think it was like the second day into not using Instagram I was not even bothered so if you need to delete your social medias just for exam time. My next tip is to revise with a friend but only in the later half of your studies. It's really really easy to get distracted by friends when you're just beginning because you don't really want to start and you'd rather talk to them about other things. But if you start revising a little bit later on with a friend then both of you know what's in the course, both of you are going to have unanswered questions and things you find difficult and it's a lot more easy to focus with a friend when it's slightly later and you both have issues which you want to tackle together. They might know a subject better than you and you might know a subject better than them and you can kind of just mix your knowledge together and before you know it you'll know everything. And I also find when I hear it from somebody else and when somebody is verbalizing something to me I learn it a lot better than if I was going to read it from a textbook. Is I do not make a study plan. I make lists. I've talked about this in my last video but I am definitely a list person. I like to tick things off, score things out and feel good and productive. So if you're somebody who doesn't enjoy study plans, you don't enjoy making a timetable of your week of what you've got to do, I hate that. I honestly hate that. And if you hate timetables too, then try out making lists. So usually I make a list for my whole revision time and I talked about this in my last video, I basically plan out the weeks and just roughly what I want to do in that week. Then I make a second list and my second list is what I want to achieve in that week and I create that list the day before that week begins. And then my third list which I create is a list of things which I want to achieve within that day and I only create the lists before they're needed. If I was to make a list of what I'm doing on Monday, I'll do it on Sunday and that way you can score out things and just feel super productive. That is definitely what works best for me when it comes to organisation and planning out my revision studies. And the final tip which I have to share with you is to not become a study poo. This is basically when you get up in the morning, you don't change your pyjama bottoms, you don't shower, you just scrape your hair back and you sit at your desk and revise. Don't do that. 
It's awful. Every morning, have a shower, get up, go on a small walk around your neighbourhood or something. You don't necessarily need to put a full face of makeup on and straighten your hair perfectly, but just at least put some effort into how you treat yourself because that will reflect in how you feel about yourself and just your general state of productivity. If you feel minion and you're just doing revision, revision, revision 24 seven, then you're gonna feel rubbish pretty soon. So guys, those were all my revision techniques and tips that I wanted to chat to you about. I really hope that you found this video helpful and definitely check out Pentel's Energel pens if you wanna make your notes super pretty and motivating to read. I would definitely recommend checking them out. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you are new to my channel and I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye guys! Get down.